One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, this, I mean, just really in the last couple of weeks, it's been, I think, shit. I mean, let's be honest. If you're along the last like three, kind of three, two, three months have been pretty challenging, but kind of especially challenging in the last kind of three weeks before we had this flurry of moves. But um, yeah, this week uh, was definitely a little tight change, right? Like the, the longs definitely got a little, you know, kind of a breath of fresh air this week. Uh, yeah, this week was tough to be a short. You really had to watch. Even Bao, I mean, Bao got caught yesterday and today. I, I mean, he recovered, but he, he I think he's, he still got caught both days. You know, it's just, when you trade some, when you trade, some, when you trade as much as Bao and you're in a market where, you know, longs are having their, their fun in the sun, you're going to get caught, right? So, um, you know, basically I'm just saying, I mean, it can happen to anybody, right? Just getting caught. Like this week has been, definitely tougher for short sellers i mean for longs it's been great like i i i i've had a great time this week but i definitely know it's been challenging for some shorts um and the thing is for newer longs who were not um shit i need to fix that for newer longs that were not um kind of ready for the switch and let's be face it not not everyone is going to you know so, some people are quicker adapters than other, and that's by design. That's not like by intelligence or anything like that. Some people just, you know, like they like to be a little bit slower. And I'm actually normally one of those people. I think um, what happened to me is I, I took like, I kind of, you know, I took Friday off and the weekend and Monday. So I came in super fresh and Tuesday was really good. Um, and I was just like, oh, I guess it was really, you know, I didn't even like really get to see how Monday was. But I was, you know, everything was fucking alive. And I was just like, oh, so this is how it is. Like, maybe it was like this Wednesday, you know, I can't even see anymore. Maybe it was like this Friday and Monday too. And so I, I kind of came in. I was lucky in the fact that I actually took some time off. And, but yeah, normally I'm more of a slow, like, hey, like, I want the market to be really good um, before I kind of start dropping my guard and getting a little bit more aggressive. And that's it. So it's okay. Like if, you, if you're along and you didn't capitalize on this flurry, uh, don't feel, or if you're a short and got caught, like that's normal. But like, if you're along, who's like, you notice that the atmosphere has changed a little bit and you haven't necessarily capitalized. It's really okay. It's just, you can't stay that way forever. You do have to get with the times and you know, you don't want to be the person who waits and waits and waits and waits and waits for the market to finally and before you, you know, before you adapt, like that, you're always chasing your tail. You have to, you know, you can be slow to adapt, but you can't be too slow. You know, you can be cautious, but not too slow. And so it's okay. I mean, getting small pieces of moves is how you um, kind of build your confidence up. It's like, oh, like, hey, I didn't just get dumped on or something like that. Like, oh, hey, this one didn't just stuff like they have. Been. So that's okay. And just getting small ones just kind of builds that confidence up. And then you can kind of just, you can just build into it. Like I said, I actually think I got a little bit lucky because I happened to take two days off and I kind of had five days because of the weekend. So no, yeah, exactly. No, bro. I, I, I 100% said that. I was like, dude, I took a short on Thursday or Wednesday. I was like, I took a, sh I finally took a short and I'm just like, I'm like, I'm taking it. Like, it, like now it's when it's gonna change back. I get, like I, I had that back thought and I took a short and I was like, yep, okay, market's gonna change. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, exactly. I knew the same shit. Man, look at NRXP. Yeah, dude. Anyway, so we'll get into it. So today I need this little top bar. For me and I have this stupid zoom bar that's not going away gotta get rid of it shit come on there it 
the zoom bar, you guys can't see it, but I can see it. It's bugging the shit out of me. There we go. Now it'll go away. Oh my God, whatever. I'm just going to deal with it. It's not hiding itself. Hide my video camera. Nope, that didn't do it. Show video camera. You know what I mean? That, that, that really wouldn't look that good, like, for it to get down here. Like, 520 and it kind of stays a little bit healthy, right? If we got all the way down to five, um, but if we'd gotten all the way down to five, then like now we have a long way to go to five you know to 540 that would kind of suck you know that would really kind of like it'd be hard to fight its way all the way back so well i wouldn't be afraid to put it there because i know shorts would be attacking that that area for a cover right i could put the order there but you know unless it bounced back right away you know, I, I'd be selling some of that. Like if I got 525, 10 and five, I'd probably be selling some back at 520 just because of, I didn't, you know, I wouldn't have wanted it to get all the way to five. That's how I'm visualizing is what, what will the chart look like? Oh, oh that's funny there. Um, what would the chart look like, you know, g given certain candles and ranges um, that are seen? Fuck, I'm so slow at these. We'll do Lex. Um, and oh, that's the last one. I don't want to go over AMC. AMC is a meme stock. I'll do I'll do this one shortly. AMC should never be um a AMC should never be uh targeted as a low-hanging fruit. These meme stocks, you should never treat them as a low-hanging fruit. They're just low-hanging fruit is like a day two continuation play for small caps, right? There's really no low-hanging fruit in large cap. Um Lex. Um, so I'm guessing it's this day that we're talking about. So again, let's go through the motions for Lex. What do we got here? So we know coming into the day that we had like 880s, you know, an 880 kind of 9-ish level. A 950 level, you know, somewhere right around there. Oh, and that's it. That's all we get. That's all the info. So that's all the daily info that we get. So, you know, we kind of pop in this pre market. Um, and it's funny, like the market is kind of opening right here, right? Right at this 889 level. So, Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.